what's up guys welcome back to the channel and if you're new and this is your first time here if you enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because this is what I do and I do it daily all right guys so for today we're gonna be doing a continuation of Shadowland and we're gonna be trying to solo the majority of the floors that I have remaining so I currently have 15 floors completed so we're gonna be starting at floor 16 and let's get into it guys so right here as you guys can see it is all relay mode and I'm gonna go with what I know this is week one so I'm just gonna be going with what I know for now and getting some solos to show you guys that a lot of the solos that were performed before this update can actually still work okay that is the goal of this week so if you guys haven't seen part one go ahead and check the description because that link will be there okay that video is already up if you guys want to check that out to see how I got here so we're gonna be using Gwenpool right here and she should easily be able to solo this all right so same as always guys within this priority and pretty much what you're doing you're gonna do right here is just try to chain your iframes and prevent Wiccan from using his five skill that is key if he uses his five skill you're gonna be in a lot of trouble because it takes up a lot of the map and it actually deals a ton of damage as well now when the AI takes over like the auto targeting I mean you want to ideally try to go back to Wiccan but it is pretty risky to do because Wiccan will catch you when you're trying to get to him See right there, he tried to hit his 4 skill, or rather his 5 skill rather, but we cancelled it out because we're in an iframe. He's trying so hard. So I guess we're going to end up taking out a trash man first, but it is what it is. As long as you can prevent Wiccan from using his skills, you'll be fine lash hit me right there but he doesn't do that much damage and you guys may be wondering why it's taking me so long to kill these guys that's because my Gwenpool is built for um, battle world and that kind of stuff it's a PvP build and it's pretty old to be honest it's a healing ISO set so her damage is not the greatest so if you build yours for like offense you should be able to easily kill these guys especially since she doesn't necessarily need um, extra recovery here I just built mine for recovery because I don't have a lot of tier 2 speed characters and when I did um, build her I only had I believe Ant-Man at the time at tier 2 so I tier 2 um, I built her for um, defense so I had someone else that could do well in Battle World. She still does pretty well, even with a large influx of um, Tier 2s in Speed Battle World now, I can still actually take down quite a few of those Tier 2 using her at Tier 1. Just because of how um, her iframes are set up, she actually just cancels out a lot of their skills and just kind of keep them in a state where they can't really either attack or defend themselves. However, it comes at the price of not having <laughs> really good damage as you guys can see I'm using the majority of the time but it's whatever we should still easily be able to clear it well not easily but you know like comfortably and by comfortably I mean we're not at risk of dying but yeah that's another one boys Gwen pool baby all right so 17 and we got all boss modes here Ooh. Ooh, I've never even seen this freaking Agent Venom boss mode. What's in here? Okay, so we hope again, cart. We're not even gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Let's see what this is. Breaking the jump. Ooh. Oh, so they made Rocket Raccoon harder too. Did they make you harder? Nah, you were already hard enough. God damn. So what are we gonna do here, guys? All right. So you know what? Since I don't have time to deal with Agent Venom and Carnage, I'm actually gonna go with Rocket. And for Rocket, I'm gonna need a speed character. And what is it? Breaking the jar will decrease his dodge rate. So, huh. I don't know how this thing works yet. So, I'm actually gonna spend my Groot here just because I wanna see how this thing actually works. So, let's go. Alright, so we're gonna make use of Groot's high survivability and figure out how this thing works. 
So we're just gonna start attacking him first. See what the dodge rate is like. Okay, so there's lots of freaking dodge in there. Well, hold up. The jar is dead though, so you shouldn't have that much dodge. Okay, hold up. I need to see something. Does he dodge more when the jar is? Okay, the jar died before it grew. You're, you're an animal, bro. You're an animal. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of dodge when the jar is down, so... Okay. So I just gotta... Wait, is there a jar up somewhere that I'm not seeing? Oh, there is one over here. Okay. Okay, so they kind of made this stage more difficult. Well, not kind of. They definitely did because what you're going to have to do now is you can't just focus all your attention on keeping him locked down because the jars are just going to keep popping up and he's going to dodge all of your freaking attacks. So characters like, I'd say, Kate Bishop or Silk that I would normally just use to just CC him and lock him down completely. Now you're going to actually have to run to break these jars and then while you're doing that, he's going to shoot you in the back. So you're going to need to manage your iframes pretty carefully if you're not using someone like Groot who can just heal endlessly. Okay, I'm definitely going to have some fun figuring out how to beat this for that Groot. It doesn't look like it's too too difficult though because the HP is still pretty, pretty low. It's not like super super out there. I guess that's convenient when the spot, um, the spot that the, uh, the jar spawns in is right beside him. But it looks like the lower his HP gets, the more jars that actually pop up. And it looks like the more frequent the jars actually spawn. Okay, get over here a little bit. Yeah, stay, stay right there. Yeah, so it looks like as his HP goes down, either the HP or the timer, but I feel like it's more HP. But either way, it looks like as time passes, this guy actually spawns more jars. So the goal should ideally be killing him as fast. Yeah, there's three jars on the map now. So there's no limit as far as I can see. They'll just keep spawning or maybe three is the limit. We'll see if there's another one. All right, so we have to get rid of one of these jars because this little bastard. Oh, oh, they're gone now. There's one up there. Yeah, look at that. Just having one jar on the map made such a big difference. So let's go finish up this idiot. Boom. Okay, so definitely the jars play a really big role here. Okay. It's interesting. Okay, so 18. Then you have the Ultron Rumble, the Lash Rumble, and you have freaking New Avengers. These are, I've never seen New Avengers this late. New Avengers usually stops at nine. So I guess they figured since this was a really hard one already, they didn't need to make any changes. They just gotta give them some more HP. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this one right here with Loki. And see if Loki still works, man. Where are you? Let me actually. So we're gonna go ahead and use Loki here and see how this goes. Alright, so we're gonna use the standard Loki strategy here, which is shield, clones, run. And I've done this solo before. I haven't done it this late in the game. I think I did it like at 13 or something. That's because I've never seen it this late. So, ooh, and it looks like he calls in these guys real early. Yeah, because there's a ton of them on the map already. Whatever. I guess he's trying to lag up the place. Or you're trying to make it so that you expend the Black Order characters on this one right here. But, nope, not doing it. We're going to call on good old trusty Loki. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, this should easily be able to be, <laughs> should get this done in like, I would say a minute and a half. Or maybe two minutes. Yeah, two minutes looks like it because they still have half of their HP. But either way, Loki should be, should be able to get this. And my Loki is not built offensively, guys. If you haven't seen my Loki build from any of my videos, healing ISO set, invincibility proc. He does have max skill cooldown and he does have max ignore defense, I believe. I hope he still does. Uh, <laughs> I actually did not check since the update. 
but he did before the update so hoping he still does but either way it doesn't look like he's having too much trouble if anything these Ultron minions are just lagging up the place but that's about it but even the lag cannot stop Loki from running in heels like a boss yeah it looks like it's gonna take more than two minutes but eh. Yeah, thanks for that heal. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of the um, solos that I performed previously to the update will still work as long as they didn't, like, I would say, drastically change the stage in terms of adding a new modifier like they did for, like, Rocket. Which Rocket is the only one that I've seen so far that got, like, a really big change to him. But that's fine because I'll just figure out new characters at tier 1 that can solo him. Just give me some time on that, guys. Yeah, so boom. It's kind of... Uh, would have liked to hold on to Loki a little bit longer, but it is what it is. Especially since entry modes are a minute. Loki's not built for that, so it's whatever. Yeah, baby. That's Loki for you. Alright, so 19. We got the Hydra... Oh, it's all wave modes again really and it's 19 so this is tier 2 territory right here so super villain super villain mm. hmm you're also super villain see if I hadn't spent Loki on that last one I could have used him here uh, decisions 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 Alright, so you know what? Since I don't want to waste too much time here, I'm actually going to go for the black antimatter and I'm going to have to expend one of my black order characters, guys. God damn. It's, and it's not even because I have to, it's just because I don't want to like spend too much time figuring this shit out. I want to actually have some fun with it, so I'm going to go ahead and use Ebony Ma here. The guy I haven't used in so freaking long. Alright, Skull. Let's do this. Oh, thought you wanted the action. Oh. Hmm. Just went down a little bit too early. Nice try. Doing that Tesseract cube. Here's some more guards for you. This right here is why Ebony Ma should be one of the first Black Order characters that you build because he's just super easy to handle. Once you have max skill cooldown, I love that four star passive on Sin. It's such a great passive. I just really wish she was a better character because she's actually deadly with it. Like, if you guys don't have sin man don't build her yet but just know her freaking four star passive is one of the best in the game one of the few four star passives that can actually counter doctor strange believe it or not it's just that she's such a bad character like in terms of like her kit and stuff that she doesn't do well anywhere well conquest she does all right but that's about it cap i don't have anything for you cap go away Whoa, this guy iframed and ruined that entire attack. This guy. Really gotta get that uniform for my cap though. Stop running, bro. Just know you guys are getting lucky right now. If I had yellow jacket, all your faces would be getting melted. Don't forget what happened last time. Now, I don't even think tier, my tier 1 yellow jacket could clear this still. They have a lot of HP and I have a lot of friggin' defense. Actually, Cap, chill. I'm gonna have to summon my guards because, yeah, it's getting pretty dicey. So, yeah, anyone who tells you guys that this thing did not get harder, they're lying to you. They're just lying to you. Because I really don't think this 
Come on, Cap. I don't think this wave mode is possible with a tier 1 character. That's in the game yet, anyways. Well, it is possible, just not at, like, stage 19. Because look at my Ebony. My Ebony's built pretty well. It's not, like, top tier or anything like that. But barely any time left. Granted, I didn't play him very well, but hey, what else? All right, so 20. Ooh, what is this? Let's actually see what's inside here. Cyclops, what the hell? So wait, this is the floor that's on 25 that everyone's been saying is really difficult? It's on 22? Like, what the hell? Okay. This one is the same one we got at 15, so it's a repeat. It's a headache there, and it's probably still a headache here. Volstag. Okay, so we have the Warriors 3, and they cannot be debuffed, I'm guessing. And... Whoa, Odin is in here? Okay, this is annoying as hell right now. So, hold on, hold on guys. I gotta figure this out. So this one is heroes only. This one is heroes only as well. I don't wanna waste any of my heroes here. I could toss a villain. And then I do want the freaking black antimatter. Yo, this is, this is annoying. Having to fight harder for my freaking black antimatter is actually annoying. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and use Carnage here. And this right here is probably the hardest of the three options simply because the Warriors 3 is not actually 3. Because when they hit their 5 skill, they're going to summon each other. So you're going to have to fight 3 Hogans, 3 Volstag, and 3 freaking Fanjo. So freaking 9 characters you're going to be fighting at the exact same time. And if you somehow survive that, you have to fight Odin. That's actually really annoying. That's actually really annoying. Okay, let's just do this. Alright. So this right here is going to be really freaking annoying because if I remember correctly, Volstag not only has damage block, he also has physical reflex. So my Carnage can actually kill himself here. And I don't want to lose too much HP because I have to fight Odin after this. But I can't even, I don't even know which Volstag I should be targeting to prevent him from dragging out this fight. Yep, he's reflecting it back at me. Son of a gun. I'm so upset. I have no HP left. Alright, Odin. I know you're gonna open with your 5 skill because you just wanna kill me. Oh, he didn't. Alright, cool. Thor, man! As soon as I come out, these guys are on me. And Loki's running <laughs> like crazy. Yeah, I don't know which tier one character outside of like maybe Sharon Rogers with her uniform can actually clear this. It's gonna be an interesting week next week, boys. Loki. Stop running, Loki. You're using your my own Loki strategy against me. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Three seconds left on a freaking carnage that's built very well. That's gonna be a crazy, crazy attempt for the tier one character. All right, let's do this. So floor 21. Okay, so it's just the Thor relay right here. Okay, that's actually easier than I expected. Thank you. Okay, so who do we use here? You know what, we're gonna go with Crystal. Yeah. Crystal, I need you, baby. Yeah, 
Yeah, she got it. There's no hope for these guys. Listen here, Jane. Listen here, Jane. I'm not sure how you made it in the game, but Beta Ray Bill didn't. So, as much as I like you, Jane, you're gonna have to die. Because, you know, I would like to see my boy Beta Ray get some love too. If you don't chill out, like, chill inside that cyclone for me. Here's some water. What? This girl ran out of it. Stop stalling. You're gonna die. Stop stalling. Just die. There we go. Bye, Jane. Hi, Crystal. Still love you, girl. All right, so 22. Okay, so the Agent Venom stage that I skipped out on is back to haunt me. Fire attacks are extra effective in this stage. Oh, is that so? Is that so? I wonder if my four-star Jean Grey can actually do this. This is actually gonna be funny. I'm actually gonna use her here just for shits and giggles. All right, so this should be interesting. Only having three skills. How did this idiot not get time frozen? Gotta put the bonds back up. Gene is melting these guys, golly. Okay, Gene, I need you. Oh my goodness. These guys got me in like some kind of stun iframe trap and just killed my Gene. So sad. Nope, not this time. gonna run away we're gonna run away I said we're not gonna die you're gonna die okay that's fine four star gene guys four star gene gray this is this lady is a machine this redhead damn guys that's crazy, a four star gene. That is insane, that is insane. I'm happy I didn't use her on floor one, golly. All right, so 23. Wow, the Spideyverse rumble. Are these guys for real? And I used my carnage already, wow. The floor that everyone hates, they have made sure to put it as not one you can skip, wow. All right, so it's looking like I'm gonna actually have to use my Wolverine here. Wow, some serious stuff. All right, let's do it, Wolvie. All right, Logan, let's show these guys the way to help. Kinda of sad that they gave me such a bad floor <laughs> right here. Make me waste my freaking Logan. Whatever. Week one, guys. It's a learning curve. Uh, I feel 
like I'm definitely gonna need Logan in the end, but whatever. Okay, so 24, destroyer boss. Okay, so they gave me an easy one right here. Destroyer boss. I wonder if Craven can work so late. We'll try Craven. Yeah, these guys have nearly 2 mil HP. Yeah. Hmm. Their defense doesn't look like it's too crazy high, so. Craven should. Yeah, Craven looks like he has this. Oops, skill cancelled a little too early there. Nice, I'm glad you guys came together right there. That's great. Makes it easier for me. Don't run. Ouch. Thrill of the hunt, guys. That's Craven. Took almost the entire time, but it's tw it's 24, man. They have a lot of HP. All right, so 25. Yep, this is the floor that I hear a lot of people complaining about. Oh yeah, they're all tier two, all right. All right, should be fun. We'll say that. Let's say fun. Let's see if Storm can do this. Alright Storm, it's all on you girl. You got it, I believe in you. Aurora, don't let me down. Beast, I see you trying to make a run bro. I know you the beast, but from one beast to another I need you to calm down bro. So we got Beast out, we got Cyclops out, and now the one that I was most worried about, Rogue, because of the type advantage that she has against me. So let's see if we can actually kill her. Okay, looks like we're going to be able to get her. Alright, so we got her. Now, freaking Magneto and Wolverine. Alright, cool. And another Storm. Alright, so I'm getting hit, not sure how. Storm is managing to avoid me, that's fine. Ok, 
Okay, so I got Wolverine dead. Okay, looks like it's gonna come down to Storm versus Storm. Yes, Aurora. You have it, baby. I love you. The queen of Wakanda, guys. The queen of Wakanda. Absolutely love you. Thanks, baby. All right, so what's on 26 waiting for me? Okay, oh, what is this? See, I don't understand how they added the first clear rewards for 26 up to 30 as if they never made any changes to the remaining floors to begin with like they should have put the first clear rewards from floor one all the way back to 30 because shadowland got a really big overall so yeah what the heck are these boxes so oh more rng okay this is what everyone was complaining about yeah because for floor 26 and up yeah you shouldn't be getting three star freaking obelisk man this should be like five and six and three star cards nah like all the three star stuff in this box need to go you need to be getting like four star stuff and up and the goal need to be like 300k minimum like like for real like what is that 10 million gold that can't be 10 million gold maybe i'm seeing things and the likelihood of you getting 10 million gold from this like i don't think even one person in the entire game is gonna say they got that 10 million maybe my eyes are deceiving me guys but anyways i don't want to stall too long here what is this box saying so this box is pretty much the same deal it's just a bunch of isos and stuff urus are nice if you even get freaking six star urus whatever so you know what? i'm gonna go with an easy choice and go with destroyer oh crap they're tier two all right cool that means they're gonna reflect energy back at me let me see what i have for these bastards super villains super villains i wonder if my titania could do this actually since they're tier two i'm gonna actually have to use a tier two character because the damage drop off is gonna be really low i think i heard one of you guys mentioning that they pulled some sleazeball move here so you know what i'm actually gonna go with my crovis all right so the key here is try not to get stunned Characters definitely can be these guys. Ooh. Go back up there with your other destroyer. black order anymore I guess I'm gonna use these guys in a while but it definitely looks like you're gonna if you're if you're new to this game and you're thinking I'm gonna save all my materials and not build up the black order <laughs> that marble has other plans guys to be honest I don't know why anyone would not be building the black order just because 
Like, with the exception of Black Dwarf, who I absolutely freaking love. I think in the comics, he's an absolute badass, and I love him so much. The rest of them are actually really good characters, solid all the way around. So you shouldn't be, like, skipping them. And I might actually build Black Dwarf just because I have so much materials that I'm sitting on. Even though I said I would never build him because he's just so bad right now. Yeah, I just died there because I started talking, but whatever. We have time to finish this up. And Clovis is new proof, as you guys will see. As he comes back to life. And we got it. Boom. But yeah, take a look at that time, guys. Pretty much all of the time used up. Those tickets, or rather, rank up. What is this? Oh, this is the RNG. Oh, yes, I forgot the box. Yay, me. All right, so 27. Ooh, Dormammu, this is what... Oh yeah, I think one of you guys in the comments mentioned you're stuck on this thing. Dormammu, baby. There's a chance that the enemy will activate energy damage immunity. Alright, cool. Cool. This is splendid. I don't even know what the hell to do here. What to do, what to do, what to do. Alright, so you know what guys, we're gonna go with my Doctor Strange here, man. Let's see if we can muscle through that. Alright, Steven. It's all up to you, my guy. If I could get some lag free gameplay, that would be great, though. Yeah. Me and all this lag. Well, if only the time would lag too. Of course the time is not gonna lag. Because I need more obstacles against me. Defy the odds, we will still win. Stop being immune to energy damage. Stop dodging, there you go, die. Bye. Now, hopefully this Dr. Strange here doesn't have time freeze. <laughs> Cause if he does, we're in some serious trouble. What is that weird sound? Thankfully, he doesn't have his uniform. He seems way easier to kill than Dormammu and um, Hellstorm and them. Where is Ancient One? Oh, he's in that corner, or she is in that corner. Being immune to all kinds of damage. There you go. Bye, Ancient One. Thank you for the ticket. Let me guess, garbage. Oh, four star card, that's decent. That's decent, that's what everyone should be getting, to be honest, if you're getting a card, it should be four star minimum. All right, so let's see what's on 28, man. Okay, so we have two freaking rumbles and one of them is the new adventures. Definitely not doing that this week because I'm not trying to have that headache because of the physical reflex and the energy reflex. That is a really annoying state to have at the end here. And freaking Ultron is not much different because of all, what are you fighting? Four Ultrons, all the minions, damage sponges. Yeah, you need big hitters for this one, for sure, for sure. Proxima could probably do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do it with Dormammu for this week because I just wanna get this thing done. All these bots are just going to turn into scrap metal. Yeah, 
they definitely did a good job making this shit a freaking hell of a, a ride to get to the end now. The fact that this is taking my freaking to a mom one minute is actually pretty annoying. Granted, I still need to rebuild this guy, but whatever. I just want to get Shadowland done for the week so I can spend the next week re-optimizing my characters before they actually um, get rid of the one gold re-rolling. Yeah, Ultron, run. whether or not Proxima could do this without a lead. Three star freaking card. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And it's not even a good card. Wow. Freaking uncanny of... Oh my god. 29. Whoa. Okay. So Black Dwarf is up here. Black Dwarf has some shine, guys. Oh, no, it's not Black Dwarf, it's the... Oh, my goodness, are you kidding me? <laughs> I know the entire Black Order. Okay. I'm actually so freaking sad. This is actually so difficult. Like, having to kill all six of the Black Order members in two minutes is actually crazy. In terms of difficulty, guys, this is on par with, like, a Phase 2 or Phase 3 clear in freaking Ultimate World Boss mode without strikers just because of how much damage you need to pump out and freaking how short a time frame you need, you need to do it in it's actually insane and looking at it right now i actually realized that i made a terrible mistake guys terrible terrible mistake i'm actually not going to be able to solo this because this floor right here there's only four characters in my eyes that can actually solo it one is dr strange two is gene gray well it should be one and two gene being one dr strange being two or maybe even one being Jean, two being Sharon freaking Rogers. If you have her with an offensive ISO set and a damage proc, you probably still need to touch the uniform to do it. But those are the three main characters that can actually solo this. Dormammu may come close because he has really good damage. But I feel like outside of Doctor Strange, Jean Grey and Sharon Rogers, the only one that could actually put up a really good fight would be a freaking fully decked out thanos guys however i don't have my thanos uniform upgraded and my sharon rogers is built defensively she has a freaking healing iso set and invincibility so neither one of these two are gonna be able to solo it for me i'm actually so sad no odin can't solo it he has the damage whether he has a decent damage where he could put up a good fight but his survivability is not going to cut it here it's actually so sad and the mistake that I made I'm gonna point that out to you guys right now the big mistake that ruined this floor for me and made it so that I can no longer solo the whole thing well I made a few mistakes getting here but the main mistake I made was being impatient right here on floor 23 when I use my Wolverine this floor right here messed me up if I had I've just been a little bit more patient and then use my iron fist which would have taken me a while to clear it with Iron Fist, but Iron Fist can clear it. In my eyes, he definitely has the potential to do it. I have done it with him before, just not in this version of Shadowland, but I still feel like he has the damage and the survivability to do it. It would just be a little bit harder since it's a higher floor. But me being so impatient, I actually freaking threw in my Wolverine right here. And if I had done what I should have did and used Iron Fist on 23, then I could have used freaking um, Wolverine on this floor right here and saved my Doctor Strange. Because now I'm pretty much bone, guys. Like I'm dead. Like I have to, I'm definitely gonna still be able to clear it, but I'm not gonna be able to solo the whole thing. I'm actually so sad. <sighs> oh my goodness, I'm so sad. All right, you know what? Suck it up. 
So we're gonna have to use Ancient One's lead. We're gonna suck it up and use Sharon Rogers and throw in Phil Posen. I guess I'll see what the team bonus is all about after all. So sad, guys. So freaking sad. Let's do this, man. All right. So Sharon's gonna carry everyone. Well, Phil is probably gonna die in like two seconds. Ancient One is definitely gonna live, though. And the lag in here. Ooh, I thought Ancient One would live, but goddamn, I guess not. These guys are relentless. Yeah, Proxima, nice try. I see you trying to get off that freaking five skill of yours. I love you. You're my baby, but you gotta die. So looking at the clear time, I'm thinking Sharon probably could have muscled through it. Nah, she probably couldn't. She probably couldn't, not with my build. Especially since Krovis, if Krovis revives, I'm gonna be so mad if he revives. If he revives, guys, I'm done with it. Okay, I was about to say, I'll be done with this game if they made him revive. Okay, so one minute to kill Thanos and these two. Great, we have iframes already. Listen here, Ebony. Stay in the Sharon ball. That's what I'm calling it now. The Sharon ball. I'm actually so sad that I made that one silly mistake and it's gonna cost me. Well, live and learn, guys. Week one. A lot of mistakes were made getting here. But you know what? At least we got to it. To the end, boys. Eh, I'll take it. Let me see my shitty rewards now. Come on. Three star Uru. Three star Uru. You know what? It's a crit damage Uru, but this should have been a minimum four star. Like, whatever, man. Additional reward. Ten freaking gear up kits. Ten. I have like freaking a hundred thousand gear up kits. Okay, I don't have a hundred thousand. I have a hundred thousand debris, but I have like twenty thousand. Like, really? I would. You know what? I'm not even. I'm done with this. I'm done. All right, floor thirty. Yeah. You know what, the best part is the first clear reward. Someone pointed that out in the comments. And for real, like the best part of getting to the end here is actually the, the freaking first clear reward. After this, it's just too much of a headache. If you don't have like a really stacked roster, don't stress too much about it. I don't even know who I should use here. I guess I'll go with Magneto. I, in hindsight, guys, I definitely held on to a lot of characters that I didn't need and I made a lot of mistakes like if I did not use Yellow Jacket and like Robbie earlier on I probably wouldn't have needed to use the couple tier 2 characters that I used well not a couple I actually used a good bit but the majority of them were used on like later flows like Gene I could have probably substituted for Robbie Reyes at tier 1 and he was still done fine um who else could I have substituted I couldn't have substituted well the three that I just used I could have subbed for just one, which is, would be um, Doctor Strange. So, you know what? It's a learning experience, guys. It's a learning experience. Still sad about it, though. But at least we made it to the end. Let's see what Magneto does, guys. Alright. So, Magneto has a tight disadvantage, so this should be pretty interesting. Stay in the ball. Do not do not leave. Stay in there. This guy. I keep telling him not to leave and he still leaves. He doesn't listen. Matthew, stay in the ball, Matthew. Yes, we're on a first name basis now.
Matthew, I said to stay in the ball, guy. Probably would have been a way easier and like a shorter fight to just throw in like Odin here. But I gotta show Magneto some love, man. I was looking forward to using him on one of the stages. Sadly, I didn't see an opportunity. Well, I saw opportunities, but I, I would rather use characters that were a little bit more attainable for those stages. Ooh, and I just messed up there. Sorry, guys. I'm literally just playing with one hand and tapping the buttons. Like, that's all you need when you use Magneto, guys. Literally, you just tap the buttons as soon as they come off um, cool down. That's it. Super, super easy character to use. Arguably the, the easiest X-Men character to use outside of like Jean since Jean is just like smash five and you die when you have five that is Which is a little bit hard to use when you're at like four stars just because you don't have the skills to use But outside of Magneto based on just playing with them I find that Storm is really really easy to play and Magneto is easy to play as well I think actually Storm might actually be the easiest to use to be honest because it's just three four five three four five you don't have to really put any thought behind it. Whereas Magneto, you kind of have to like line up things accordingly. But yeah, guys, we made it to the end. Sorry, this is not the part two that I had planned. I would have liked to solo the whole thing. But your boy got impatient, guys. I got impatient. Don't get tilted. Don't get upset when things don't go your way. Don't be hasty like me because if you do, then you end up shortchanging yourself when you could actually pull off more. But yeah, guys, that's it for this one, man. This is going to be 1.5, not the part two that I had planned. But we will be tackling Shadowland as much as possible in the coming weeks. And I'm going to be trying my best to give you guys some more solos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, guys, sorry I ended the video right there. Forgot to show you my rewards. Take a look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. An amazing nimble ISO. The most useless of ISOs. Oh, oh, is that so? And look at how much gold I got. Wow, all this hard work to get the, t the floor 30, guys. Yeah, this is what it's for. And if you can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. Like, this is actually disgusting, okay? I cannot believe they can justify giving people this as a reward for making it through such a difficult task. But hey, let me know what you guys think, man. If you guys think that these rewards are like how they should be because there is an argument to be made here sorry i'm rambling i know the video should have ended there is an argument to be made here that this actually makes it so that the people like me who can actually get to the end don't get too far ahead of you guys who are still struggling to get through but at the same time are you okay with the rewards being like this if you were in my position where you could actually clear it but that's just the kind of person I am. I like to see both sides of the spectrum. But let me know what you guys think. That's why the comment section is there. And that's why I love talking to you guys. And I'm out for real this time, guys. Peace.